Hey, what's up, guys? Uh, today I'm going to talk about a very legendary rapper, a guy that needs to be respected, the, the true man on the moon, the true hero to rap, the true guy that expressed all his feelings before it was popular, before everyone copied it. His name is Kid Cudi. The reason why the title says that this guy is the greatest rapper alive is because he did stuff before it was popular. You know, he did it in the, two, the early 2000s where it wasn't popular to talk about all your issues, talk about getting through all the mess, all the bullshit. You know, I remember I used to listen to him in high school and he got me, even me and myself, through a lot of stuff. And he was the type of rapper that I had to listen to. And I couldn't tell my friends because at the time everyone was listening to 50 Cent and listening to gangster rap or listening to rappers that just talk about coonery, selling drugs and just making a life of nuisance or saying getting high or just living life out of control. Uh, this guy, you know, he started at a young age and he started, you know, he moved out of Cleveland and he went to Brooklyn to, to pursue a dream working at a babe store. You know, and he met his, his childhood, uh, I guess, idol. You know, I don't think he's idol. I think he's better than Kanye West. You know, he inspired. I remember I listened to his mixtape, The Man on the Moon. I listened to the song, Man on the Moon itself. The song, Man on the Moon. And it just inspired me. You, you know, you know. I remember the lyrics. I just, like, when he was saying, like, I don't, I, used to, I don't give a fuck. I don't give a fuck what anybody says about me. I mean, I mean, I did, but, like, fuck it. You know, this guy, you know, he would talk about issues. And people used to, at that time, early to they used to laugh at him. They said, oh, you're weak. Oh, oh, you're you're soft. Oh, you're you're not cool. Oh, you're lame. You're weirdo. You're a faggot. You, you're shit. You ain't nothing. He did that, you know, at that early age. And he was different. He didn't care about wearing the freshest Louis Vuitton clothes and stuff like that. He would get fresh, too. But a lot of his concerts, he just wear a white t-shirt, skinny jeans, and just rap his ass off. And he could, don't get me wrong, he could rap too. He had bars. He still has bars. Amazing bars. You know, I remember, everyone knows about Day and Night. And that's a very good song too. You know, Day and Night, Crossing Turns, and she keeps stressing my mind, my mind. But he had a lot of other good songs. In that first album he had, you know, he had a lot of songs. Even uh, Up, Up, and Away. You know, even when it was like, I'll be up, up, and away. Up, up, and away. Because they going to judge me anyway. So, whatever. You know, he was the type of rapper that embodied someone that spoke. He spoke for the person that couldn't speak for himself. He spoke for the people that were weak, weak-minded. weak They couldn't talk for themselves. They were probably going through bullying. Or they're going through stress in their life. They didn't deny the right place in their mind. They're right. They don't have the right career. They don't have shit that's going on. And nobody gives a shit about them. He spoke for them. He spoke for them. A lot of people, they're not going to relate to him. You have all these uh, Drake fans. A lot of them most likely are underage girls or white suburban kids. They all support Drake. Drake just has so a bunch of ghost fires. And all he talks about, oh, my life is amazing. Oh, I had sex with this person. Oh, I just made a million dollars here and there. But Kid Cudi, he was talking about the mental health. He was talking about people that they couldn't make friends in high school. You know, they didn't have the right foundation. He did. They didn't have the freshest clothes, and they they didn't have the most swag. Most of the from the people that in high school they were sent away from them. He was talking about. He was talking to them. He was talking to the dude. You know, that can't get that girl at the right time. Man. He doesn't have the best, most money, the best career to get her. He was talking to him. He was talking to the outcasts. And that's what hip-hop is really is. Hip-hop ain't about conforming and getting sponsorship deals and trying to compromise the big-time labels. You know, hip-hop is about rebelling, being yourself, finding a culture for yourself. You know, hip-hop is about inspiring people. They need help. They need motivation. They need inspiration. That's what hip-hop is, man. He embodies hip-hop to the T. Kanye West, man, he ain't shit. You know, he ain't shit, man. I don't fuck with Kanye West. He ain't shit, man. He's never been the shit. You know, he always talks about himself, but he don't give a shit about nobody else, man. 
because for Kanye to say like, oh, he was the first to be emo. Kid Cudi ain't emo. He ain't negative. He ain't he ain't emo. That's not that's not his his genre. You know, talking about issues is emo. Talking about depression is emo. Talking about struggling in life is emo. Talking about your drug addictions is emo. Talking about trying to make it out from nothing. You're piss poor. You're sleeping on on your other friend's couch every single day. You don't have the money. Talking about that. Trying to get out of that environment. It's emo. That ain't emo. That's that's motivation. That's inspiration. Kid Cudi, he's he tries his hard. I'm doing it wrong. I, I'm I follow Kitty Cudi. I understand him. I've been listening to him since day one. I still listen to him. I watch, I run. I listen to Speeding Bullet, Bullets of Heaven. I buy all his albums. I bought all his. I remember buying Man on the Moon one and Man on the Moon two. I bought all his out his albums. Every single thing, man. Every every Indicud, uh, Satellite Flight, everything. The, even the the rock album. I forgot the name of it. You know, I bought that too. I've been listening to Kid Cudi, man, and I respect him a lot. This guy has to be respected. You know, we don't have that much as much rappers that we respect to, and because a lot of these rappers fold. And don't get me wrong, Kid Cudi, he does do some mainstream stuff too. You know, I'm not, but I can't blame him. He's trying to make money also, but he still has that integrity. He still talks to his youth. You know, I'm, I'm tired of these rappers. They get older and they make their money. They leave their foundation. They stop talking to the fans that have been caring about them since day one. And they start conforming and just start going with the white crowd. And that's not Kid Cudi, man. He still cares about his people. He still makes inspirational move in new music. They still listen to him, man. You're never going to f- see a rapper like this again. I'm talking about that stuff, man. This guy is one of the best rappers in this generation. If it wasn't for him, there would be no Travis Scott. If it was for him, there would be no Lil Uzi Vert. If it wasn't for him, there would be no Mac Miller. A lot of these rappers, they get their inspiration from Kid Cudi, whether you like it or not. You know, he was doing it before it was popular. He was doing this all before it was popular. Before back then, and, and you took Kid Cudi's time when I was in high school, you know, when you, if you were a rapper, all you can talk about is how, how fly you were, how much girls you got. You know, your freshest clothes, your freshest cars, or your street life, and hustling, and making it from nothing. Don't get me wrong, there's nothing wrong with that. There's nothing wrong to rap about making it out. I, I, I love Jay-Z's tracks. I don't love, I may not like him as a person, but I've been listening to Jay-Z too. I love, respect Jay-Z. Yeah. Fuck Kanye, fuck Drake, I don't listen to them. I don't listen to them. I listen to Jay-Z, I listen to Nas, I listen to Pete Rock, CL Smooth. I listen to these new jobbers. I listen. Trust me, I have a big catalog. I respect all these guys, but you know, I gotta respect Kid Cudi, man. I've been listening to him since high school. This guy is a motivation for peers, man. Don't neglect your um your idols, or if they're not your idols, your your respected rappers, man. You only live once. He's. I pray he gets better. I know he will. He's gonna live a beautiful life. He deserves it. I respect the man. You know, we can go even to his his next his second album, A Man in the Moon Two, that was amazing when, you know, he rapped on Ghost. And you guys also check out Mr. Rager and Revo Fev. You know, he, he he is the man on the moon, man. This guy is literally the rapper that talked about and lived the life that most of these rappers, they didn't live and they don't talk about. They don't care about the youth. Most of these rappers, they just want to get their money and get out of there, man. They want to get their money and fuck hoes and all that. This guy actually cares about it because he lived it. He, I, I know he's been bullied in school. You know, he, he struggled. He actually was in Brownsville when it was bad. Struggling, eating, living paycheck to paycheck, living on people's couches, man. This guy, he rapped about inspirational stuff, man. And he can rap, too. You know, he could rap. This guy has bars. He knows how to rap. rap. Look at um, Kanye with that album. I forgot the name of his album. Uh, uh, um, just type in Creepers on YouTube. That will show you his, his rapping skills, man. Kip Cudi can rap, man. He, he does care about this craft. You know, this or being a cool rapper is not about being a thug. Just being a thug or being like having... At the end of the day, you will never get another man on the moon. 
You would never get a, a person to delve that is strong enough to talk about all his demons in his life. That he's still struggling. People aren't perfect. People aren't perfect in this life. You will never get a person that may be able to relate to a youth that's five years old. To an, a grown ass person that's 36 year old. We all go through shits in life. And this guy, he embodies it, man. This guy is a respected rapper that should be respected in this franchise. You know, he raps about everything. He's not just an emo rapper. He raps about life. You got to understand, there was a picture in XXL XL, with Dre, Kid Cudi, and Wale. They were basically like the, the future. I don't know if Drake's being jealous of Kid Cudi. The album is telling you is Drake, you will never get Kid Cudi's fan base. Wale, you will never get Kid Cudi's fan base. You can't be Kid Cudi. You can't teach integrity. You can't teach support. If you have someone that got you to do life, that person's going to stick through them thick and thin. And this guy will always be the man on the moon. He always will be. Peace.